Yeah, it's stash acquisitions time. And normally I do my stash acquisitions in conjunction with giveaways for my Patreon account, but in November I take the month off giving away gifts. However, I still have some stash acquisitions that I would like to show you. As my YouTube channel has been growing, I have been inundated with items that people want on my channel. And I think it's so cool I love it. I get surprise mail all the time, and in fact, today has a lot of surprise mail. It's surprising because I didn't know it was on its way, or I forgot it was on its way. And so it's kind of like mail time with Christy today. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna tell you what I can, what I know about things, and then you can, you can go check things out on your own. So first I wanna start with this new product. It's called Knit Assist. And I haven't even had a chance to work with it yet, so I think once I do, I will bring this back on my channel. This is an invention of Kim Reese, who has been knitting, she said in her letter, for 50 years. And it's a ring that you place intentionally on this part of your finger, right here, and then you can feed your yarns through this device. I haven't tried it yet. so. It's just, it just came into my life, and I, like I said, I wanna give it a proper review. But on her business card it says, the ring that tensions and separates two strands of yarn. It's patented and trademarked, which, how cool is that? If you've been knitting for 50 years, I know that you are at least 55 years old, maybe 58, maybe 70. I don't know how old you are, Kim. Let me just tell you what she said. When you take the parts out of the bag, you'll see there are three pieces. One ring, the ring, oh, one ring that has a post on it, one rectangle with seven spikes on both sides, and one flat rectangle, okay? The spiky part, the tensioner, fits on the post of the ring. Because of the flat angles on the post, the tensioner won't go on the ring exactly perpendicular or parallel to the ring or your finger. The angles are intentional, so that you can turn the yarn toward your work to the left or the right depending on which hand you're using. The flat piece with holes in it, the lid, goes on top of the tensioner after you feed the yarn through it. So I think, I have this upside down. So I think I put the yarn in first, then I put the lid on, then I put it on the ring. I think that could be right. The flat pieces with holes in it, the lid, goes on top of the tensioner after you feed the yarn through it. You tension the yarn by wrapping it back and forth on the posts in a serpentine direction, like a snake. I got that, serpentine. Working its way through a maze. You want the yarn you will be knitting with to be coming out the front towards your work and the end coming from the ball to be going out the back. There are videos that give you a clearer picture of these descriptions on Instagram, at Knit Assist. <gasps> So cool. So I'm gonna try this out uh, later, but I wanted to show this to you. So here's the lid that she was talking about. See the lid? And the spikes. So anyway, that seems really fun, and I thought that, um, I know we, I well, I love supporting women, owned businesses, and especially inventors. She's an inventor, so this looks really fun and really cool. So I wanted to just lead out with that and say thank you, Kim, for sending it to me. and. I'm just, I need a project. Right now I'm not doing any color work, so I need to find one, and then I can put it to the test and see how it goes. I feel like this would be such an awesome gift this season for the knitter in your life that already has everything, but doesn't have this. More fun mail that I was not expecting. What? Clara Parks, Vanishing Fleece, Adventures in American Wool? Are you kidding me? You know, I'm a fan of Clara Parks, in fact, she actually, her, her book, was it Knitlandia, is that the one? Really prompted me to just, you know, try to track down that really special wool. And so this I know is gonna be so fun. 
It says, Clara Parks presents a fast-paced account of the year she spent transforming a 676-pound bale of wool into commercial yarn and the people and vanishing industry she discovered along the way. So this is so fun because the interview that I did at Catskill Merino, it, it's connected to this book somehow, so I need to figure out how. For example, it says, travel the country with her as she meets a flock of Saxon Merino sheep in upstate New York. Okay, that is the flock that I met. So I'm really excited to read what she has to say about that here, okay? I'm, this is really fun. This was really fun, unexpected mail. Also, I had forgotten that I said to Stolen Moments, yes, please send me some bags. So she sent me two bags. Look at this cute, cute Flamingo one. Here, this is Stolen Minutes. I love that, it's so cheery. Let's see inside. Oh, look, I love a good lining. Yes, I do. And then this one is, this one is a beautiful rose one. So, I'm really, really excited to share these with some of my patrons later on. I forgot about that. That's Carrie from Stolen Minutes. And then I had more surprise mail from Wing and a Prayer. Tammy of Wing and a Prayer sent me this bag. Oops, I have some yarn. This is, what does this say? Valais Black Nose Sheep. Cute. And inside the bag, she just sent it to me. There was not even a note. And look at this. It's the breed, it's um, Vermont Sock Yarn, 90% wool, 10% nylon. So, you know how I feel about socks. I'm not on board, but when I touch this, I say to myself, I want socks in this. So my friend Leslie mentioned she knit a sweater in it and she loves it. I believe this is naturally dyed because that is what Tammy does. So go visit Wing in a Prayer Farm, check her out. Gorgeous, gorgeous wool. This was not a surprise, I knew this was on its way, but I was blown away when the yarn arrived in my mailbox. This is by Kate Celine and she does the cutest videos from her car park in the UK. This is her Slub Superwash, and this is pink hundreds and thousands, I believe is the color, and it is so pretty. Like, I don't even think the camera can pick it up, but it was sitting on my desk, and my husband went, oh, I might learn to knit over this yarn. Isn't that fun? And so I had to cast on this one. This is the other one she sent me. Look at that, it has every single color. How in the world does she do that? So I cast on right away, in fact, this is in hibernation for a minute because I need to switch my needles back to sevens. I was on a trip and I needed sevens and so I had these tens and I, oh, the sevens are back on, I already did it, good for me. Anyway, this is my shawl, I think this is called Storm, maybe? It's by Hohi Locatelli. I feel like this wool would look so cool mixed with another wool, but I love the character of the yarn so much that I just wanted it to stay in its character, so I just did a one skein shawl, and it smells good because I was wearing my hand cream. Anyway, this is it. So I was working on this on my trip to Iceland, and then I got really distracted by the Icelandic wool, so I put this away for a minute. Oh, look, this is my this is my Stitch and Hustle project bag. Hello. So anyway, I just um, wanted to show you it in progress, and then she also sent me these minis, and I'm gonna have a really hard time parting with these. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. I will definitely give this away eventually, but the, these minis, look at these. So I don't know how she does this, but it's like rainbow, and they're kind of pastels, but then they have these pops of the darker rainbow in them. It's just so beautiful. So you need to go and check her out because these yarns are just speaking to me in such a way that yarn hasn't in a while. So beautiful. One more time, Kate Celine. She also sent me some really cute little stitch markers. I think they had toadstools on them, but I don't have them right here to show you. You probably already know that Stunning String Studio was my sponsor for Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater this year. And they have been so generous. Not only did they send 100 gifts for the first 
100 customers of the Rhinebeck Yarn Bazaar, but they also sent scissors for all the stickers, plus giveaways, plus they sponsored the video, and they gave me a few things also. So look at this yarn. This is wild. This is this color is Wildberries and the Legacy Worsted, and it together is the Oktoberfest kit, which I think this is such a special shawl. You can barely even see it in this picture, but it's so pretty. I have um I have an affiliate link with them, so if you want to go explore, I would love it if you use the link. It's underneath this video. They have such beautiful yarn in 27 bases, 220 colors. So it's the first time I heard about them was from Mr. Hugs. He came and showed a cable knit sweater. In fact, I think my picture might be on Stunning String website wearing that sweater. And I think the only other time I could have maybe seen them was possibly at a Stitches Midwest, but I didn't. I didn't get over there because I was busy doing other things and so it's been really fun to discover this brand this year through the sponsorship of the video so I want you to be able to check them out as well they also have they have a lot of pink in their branding which I love so look at this I am stunning today <laughs> cup they sent me and then they have these bags they have actually lots of different bags but this is one of their cute polka dot bags and I'm sure this is I'm sure this works in a fun fancy way Oh, look, it has a ribbon. So you can hold it like this. This looks like a, what is this? A little fob. And then you can close up your, your bag like that. And also, oh, I didn't, I didn't show this, but this came with the Oktoberfest kit too. Look at this stitch marker. It's a little Oktoberfest like mug and it works. It opens and closes. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So very, very, very fun, generous. Um, there are a couple, Tom and Cindy, and I think Tom does all the dyeing, which is really fun. Also happy mail, I got two copies of the Crochet with London K. My daughter and I went to her book signing at the Barnes and Noble in Union Square. We made flower crowns, which was really fun. And because I had two copies, I had her sign one for a giveaway and one for myself. Of course I'm keeping one. London has such a special spirit and I love supporting her. So check out this book. It just came out this fall. Lastly, I was sent a yarn box from Yarn Yay. I have no idea what's in here. It is the Vicki Howell subscription box. And I've seen some of her IGTVs where she does an unboxing and I'm gonna do an unboxing right now. Let's open up the box. I like an unboxing, isn't it fun? All right, inside the box we have tissue paper. Ooh, the Knit Vibe by Vicki Howell. It says, A Knitter's Guide to Creativity, Community, and Well-Being from Mind, Body, and Soul by Vicki Howell. This is box number 18, special, the Knit Vibe edition. So I think this is to promote her new book, Let's see what we have here. We have the makings, go-to wrist warmers, because there's yarn. I will show you the yarn in a second, don't you worry. This, oh, okay, so there's the wrist warmers in, oh wait, wait a second. Okay, so this is by Valley Yarns. The merino, 70% merino wool, 30% cashmere. Ooh, that's nice and soft. This says that it was made with the Clinton Hill cashmere, but I think you can use this too because it's both 50 grams. Yeah, this is a 50 gram ball as well. So there is fingerless glove pattern. Then there's the crochet version of the same thing. And this one says it's using this yarn. Also, there are profiles here. So Kathy Fawcett is in here and Caitlin Hunter is in here. You can see. As well as Elizabeth Ward and oh look at this. A chat with a Grammy award winning singer songwriter Sheeta Garrett. Did I say that right? Um, so maybe she's a knitter or crochet or two. I have to figure that out. What's that? And then also the next page, there is Yoga for Knitters with Alicia Montoya, fun. <gasps> Crystals for creativity, quick reference. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, that's good to know. And then Dietary Recommendations for Healthy Bones, Joints, and Muscles by Dr. Michelle Lane. So she really is covering all the subjects. It is a knit vibe. 
The Mindfulness of Knitting and Crochet. Very, very fun. Okay, so that is a, like a very extended piece of information in this box. Okay, we have the wool. We know about the wool now. Watch who set. And then also in here, there is a stitch marker that says Stitch Sprouts. And these look like crystals and a planet. So that is fun because it goes with the Knit Vibe theme. Can you see those? And then, the last thing is this bag, which says the Knit Vibe. And I am obsessed with the hairdo on this knit lady. And there's the crystals and all the things. That's really fun. That is the Yarnier unboxing for you. I know, I know that subscription boxes are really helpful for people who don't have a local yarn shop near them, which is the case for many, 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 many knitters. I think it's also really great if you're stuck. So some people lose their knitting mojo, their creativity. Some people suffer from mental health illnesses, depression, anxiety, and that can really, really affect your ability to come up with something to knit or crochet. So I kind of love this connection with the mind body, with this knit vibe thing. And I love the idea of a subscription box for someone who wants to be creative, but just can't find it from within. So I really appreciate that about this box. And if you wanna check that out, there will be a link underneath this video for that. That does it for November. I'm sure that you saw any yarn that I acquired from the New York Sheep and Wool Festival in October already on a separate video. Sometimes I include hauls in these stash acquisitions. Other times I just sort of take a collection of what has come my way and, and show them to you. Come back next month in December for another giveaway for my patrons. And if you would like to support my channel financially, I do have a Patreon account. There is a link to that underneath this video as well. It's how I make my money now. I have turned this hobby into a job and it brings me all the joy. I love sharing it with you and I am so touched when you choose to support my channel in that way. So you can head on over to patreon.com to see that. See you next month, bye. Thank you.